NATO boss Jens Stoltenberg urged members of the alliance on November 28 to continue supporting Ukraine in its war against Russia's invasion as both the United States and European Union struggle to agree on further military aid. It's our obligation to ensure that we provide Ukraine with the weapons they need, Stoltenberg told reporters as he arrived for a gathering of foreign ministers from NATO countries at the alliance's headquarters in Brussels. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg also said he expected Turkish Parliament to ratify Sweden's NATO membership as soon as possible. Uh, because it will be a tragedy for the Ukrainians if President Putin wins, but it will also be dangerous for us. Uh, because then the message uh, to all authoritarian leaders, not only in Moscow but also in Beijing, is that when they violate international law, when they invade another country, when they use force, they get what they want. Um, the EU has difficulties to keep their promise on the ammunition. The US. Uh... So this is about the whole idea of a rules-based international order where uh, territorial borders uh, are respected. Uh, and therefore, NATO allies have provided an uh, unprecedented level of military support. This has really had an impact, made a difference on the battlefield uh, because the Ukrainians have been able to liberate uh, around 50% of the territory that was occupied uh, after a full scale uh, invasion. Um, we feared, and many experts believed, that uh, Ukraine would collapse within. Uh... I'm confident that the United States will continue to provide support uh, because it is in the security interest of the United States to do so. Uh, and it's also in line with what we have agreed. So this is, this is all allies have stated again and again the last time at our NATO summit with all the leaders present in Vilnius that we will provide support to Ukraine, we will step up our support and also NATO has agreed to help them also to modernize their armed forces to ensure full interoperability between the Ukrainian forces and the NATO uh, forces. I had hoped uh, for uh, um, a full accession of uh, Sweden in NATO by uh, this uh, meeting. That has not happened. Um, uh, the good news is that uh, uh, President Erdogan has submitted the papers for ratification to the uh, Turkish uh, parliament uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and I expect uh, uh, the parliament to finalize uh, their uh, uh, discussions and, uh, and conclude as soon as, uh, as possible. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.